Hi, I'm Carla with Carla Dreyer Design, decor expert, and this is Decor with Love TV. So let me ask you a question. Does your bedroom lack that certain something? Do you kind of leave it to last because it's a room only you or maybe you and your partner see? Well, I'm here to help. So when I do a home design, one of the most common things I see is that people can have a beautiful decorated downstairs, then you go into the bedroom and it's completely different. It's a mixture of hand-me-down furniture, things we don't want, lack of storage, and I think this really is a room we leave to the last. And so I'm gonna give you some tips today to help create a beautiful room that you love, that you feel rejuvenated, restored, and rested in. So tip number one when decorating your bedroom is probably the thing that we all think of when we're decorating is where do we start? And the place that I start with decorating a bedroom is the bedding. And my rule of thumb actually with the bedding is to choose white. And before you shut down this video and say there's no way I would choose white, just let me explain for a minute. I have two kids and I have a dog and I've always had white bedding. I just find it's crisp, it's clean, it can be clean. It works well with all kinds of col other colors and patterns and it's serene. I know that white can be scary, but it can be easily washed and get a couple sets. So my tip is start with your bedding and start with white. It'll be the easiest to decorate the room around. So tip number two when decorating your bedroom is lighting. Lighting is really key for any room and if you look past, back on some of my old videos, I have a video specifically on lighting of how many sources you should have in a room. But for a bedroom, you really wanna think about your bedside lamps. If you don't have room for bedside lamps, which I actually personally don't, what I've done is put a wall sconce and this is a really cool item and you can get them everywhere right now. So you wanna think about your bedside lamps or wall sconce. And the other thing you wanna think about, which most people don't, is some light overhead, uh, some type of chandelier. It really adds a focal point when you walk in the room. It really casts an ambiance. And also, put your lights on dimmers. I don't know about you, but there's something about being in my bedroom where I don't want the bright lights on. So if I can have just the lamps on or the chandelier on dimmer, it just creates a nice atmosphere and ambiance. And tip number three I'm gonna give you for when decorating your room is, again, I'm going, o going over some of the most common things that I see that people don't do, is decorate behind your bed. So every room has a focal point and you wanna think about the bedroom the bed is the focal point of the room. So usually when you walk into a room, the bed is the first thing that you see, which you don't always have to buy the most beautiful or most expensive bed. I actually didn't, I bought a very simple white low frame bed. But what I did above my bed is have a huge painting that I just love behind there. Some other ideas you could do is put a gallery wall. You could put wallpaper. I love wallpaper behind a bed. So it's just an area that adds so much to your room, so much of a focal point. So don't forget behind your bed. So I hope you're inspired to decorate your bedroom. I would love to hear. Please leave me a comment below. And if you've liked this video, please like me, share me, and do subscribe because I do produce weekly videos on decor, design, and DIYs.